International business is like business, but in an international context, which is particularly interesting at the moment in the current environment because the international arena is so complicated and changing. So um, it's going to become increasingly important, I think, for us to consider international aspects when um, undertaking any kind of business activity. So things like um, boundaries, cultural values, exchange rates, quotas, supply chains are all changing at the moment. So it's becoming an increasingly interesting topic. The main focus of the first year of the International Business Programme is to give students a taster of the different aspects of any business, uh, so including economics, finance, human resources, etc. But what makes the International Business Programme different from the traditional business programmes is that we focus on international culture and looking at business in an international context. So for example, in the second year, a specific module would be looking at the economy and political systems of the business of the country where you might be going to go and study in your third year. And another distinctive difference is it's a four-year programme. So in the third year, students have to go abroad to either study or work to apply their business knowledge in an international context. And in the final year, they would use those, the understanding that they got while in their third year to underpin a research project, so as their dissertation, really. Students who go abroad to study would study business modules in a business school, but in a different country. Um, that's not always obligatory. You can sometimes adopt more of a liberal arts approach, especially in America, for example. So you could take modules that were not specifically around business. And some countries would insist on you doing a language component. So in Japan, for example, it would be obligatory that you would do a small module in Japanese language. The whole philosophy of the international business education is based around the Erasmus Principles, which is about sharing international understanding between learners from different countries, which is something that you know most of the students on this course are very passionate about. So we have international students here on the UK-based programme anyway, but it's a fantastic opportunity for students to meet all sorts of people from all different countries, and I believe it really makes students more employable because they come back from that year abroad more resilient, more able to cope with change. One of the beauties of business courses in general is that first year where you are given a taster of many different subjects and in the second year you start to be able to specialise so you can choose electives um, in various pathways. So a lot of students start the course thinking, oh, I really love marketing for example, um, and then at the end of their first year or their second year perhaps decide that perhaps their strengths lie elsewhere and they might switch and that's eminently possible. We have a very flexible programme. The assignments, as with all our assignments on our degree programmes, are based around employability. So we tend to not do traditional essay style assessments. We tend to do assessments that are much more likely to be useful in the workplace. One of the advantages of uh, doing a course such as International Business is the ability to have add-ons. In addition to having business, which is one thing, you've also got the international element and you've got a year abroad. You are also able to get accreditation for professional bodies. Because it's a very vocational degree, it's got an international hat, it's got an employability hat, and it's also got this business hat. So everything is very practical with underpinning academic and employability focuses.